Hey guys, it's Debbie Martin here and I'm going to show you um, how to add uh, new team members to our Facebook groups. We've got several Facebook groups. Um, I have a list and uh, I can give you that list if you want, but um, right now I'm inside of one of our Facebook groups called Team Wakaya Paradise Achievers. And um, here's the name right here. I could also type that name. If I was searching for it, I would type that name out and um, it would show up down here and I would click on that and it would bring me right to this group. But I'm going to show you how to um, add your people. You First, you have to be friends with them on Facebook. And so you go over here and I'm just going to choose a girl here. Now this says she's already a member because uh, somebody's already added her. But if it didn't say that, I would click on that and um, it would put her into the group. Some of these groups are closed groups or secret groups and they require admin approval. And if that's the case, a little message will pop up and say, you know, um, added pending admin approval. So when the person has been approved by the group, you will want to go over and do a little welcome post for that person. So um, first thing you want to do is grab their photo. So I'm going to go over to another tab here and I'm going to search for that person. So right up here, let's just say, I'm just going to use Carol as an example here. So I search for Carol and open up her page and I'll grab her photo. Now it's best to actually ask the person if it's okay if you do this. Most people don't mind, but it's always not a nice gesture to, to you know, get their permission. And you can do one of two ways. You can right click on it and click save as, or you can go down here to options click on options, this box opens up, and click download. <clears throat> that download is going to go onto your computer, so you need to know where things go when you download on your computer, so you can grab it. So let me just go ahead and click download on that, and see on my computer it tells me it's downloaded, and I can show, I, I can click on my computer and see where it went. So, um, Clicked on that. I'm not sure if it's going to open up right now. Anyway, um, so you go back over to your main group. You do a little welcome post, and you want to tag that person. Um, so when I start to type Carol's name, if she's in the group, it's going to show up. If I click on it, you see it turns in blue. That means it's tagged, and Carol will now get a notification that um, she... In fact, Carol is just texting me right now. Carol will get a little notification that um, I have made a, a welcome comment. Welcome, Carol, to the uh, group. If you want to tell a little bit about Carol, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just using this as an example. But you want to say a little bit about Carol so that we, you know, kind of know who she is if you're like if you're at a party or something and you're introducing a friend. And then you click down here to photo. And your photo files will open up. And it's taking mine just a second to come up. And wherever your file downloaded onto your computer, sometimes I have to go, you know, you have to go search for it. Uh, so let's see, probably just went into downloads. Let's just take a quick look here and see. And there she is right there. So I click that, grab it, and that's now going to be part of my, my comment. And then you would click post, and she would be welcomed into the group, and then other members could comment and welcome her as well. I'm not going to do that because she's already been added, and this has already been done. So, uh, But that's how you do it. Okay. All right. That's it. Close that up.
turn this off. End recording. Bye.